Hello, Acadiana. Thanks for joining us. Darla Montgomery is on assignment. We'll be joining her a little later in the newscast. But first, a KLFY investigation into the criminal history of the suspect accused in a triple murder in Lafayette. It happened on South College Road last week. Lafayette police say they were called to an apartment because of a welfare concern. There, police say they found three bodies identified as 45-year-old Brandon Touchette, 49-year-old Eric Green, and 46-year-old Elizabeth Reams, all from Lafayette. The suspect, Chad Crater, currently is in the Jeff Davis Parish Jail on unrelated crimes, is facing first-degree murder charges. As KLFY investigates, News 10's Rodrigo Taylor joins us live in studio. She dug into Crater's criminal background and shares what she uncovered. Rodrigo. Yes, I have copies of Chad Michael Crater's criminal record, and they date all the way back to 2018. The most recent one before him being a wanted suspect in the three murders is an attempted second degree murder charge in 2020. According to court records in 2020, Chad Crater has a charge of attempted second degree murder. In the previous year, he has several charges, including simple battery and several charges drug related. In 2018, he was charged with domestic abuse battery with child endangerment, simple robbery and simple battery. District Attorney Don Landry says Crater had a trial set for March 11 on the attempted second degree murder charge. However, he did not show up and a bench warrant was issued with a hold for court order. All of this was before the triple homicide on South College Road. Police say he is a suspect after three bodies were found. The victims were identified as 45-year-old Brandon Touchette, 49-year-old Eric Green, and 46-year-old Elizabeth Reams, all from Lafayette. Police say Crater was friends with the victims. He is being held in the Jeff Davis Parish Jail and is charged with criminal trespassing, possession of drugs, and a firearm. Lafayette police say he will be transferred within the next few days to the Lafayette Correctional Facility for his charges in Lafayette. Court records show Crater has a pretrial on May 9th for his charges in 2018, including simple robbery and domestic abuse battery with child endangerment. Rodrigo Taylor, KLFY News 10.